Hey you guys, so it's Kyosho. Happy Thursday and welcome back to another daily vlog. I apologize for coming on here so late this morning. It has been super busy at work. I literally started meetings at 8.45 and got through at about 11. And then I had to wash my face and do all my stuff and like clean up my room a little bit. So that's what took me a little long. But now it is 12 o'clock. I don't even have my watch on day. It's 12 o'clock or a little bit after 12. And I am about to give me some lunch. It's about 10 minutes after 12. And um, I, like I said, have been working diligently this morning, getting a lot of things done. Our upgrade is almost finished and it goes live next week. So we have a lot of stuff that we have to get in the system, get updated. I've been having a lot of meetings about things that are not working in the system and just a lot's going on so I just wanted to um, get that caught up this morning before I came with you guys so we're out on the deck as you can see because where else would we be and I just want to give you guys a little haul of um, some things that I picked up in the last couple of days nothing too major but I wanted to show you guys anyway some of the stuff you may have seen in Jalen's uh, dorm room or moving out vlog I still can't believe that child is gone it's been a whole week and a day <laughs> without my baby living here oh my gosh we FaceTime yesterday uh, it was so good FaceTime with her we stayed on there about an hour or two uh, it was so fun but she had uh, no class yesterday because yesterday was Juneteenth so she was laying around being a bum uh, or whatever but she's back in classes today so she's supposed to call me when she got out of class because we have to take care of some stuff but other than that she's enjoying school she's enjoying her free time and her space oh my god I know, right? All right, so we're going to start talking about it. But anyway, I picked up a couple of things from Ollie's and Five Below and Sephora this week, this past week. So I want to show you guys what I bought. So from Five Below, I picked up this black and beautiful shirt. Probably should have wore it yesterday for Juneteenth, but I didn't go anywhere. I was working from home. Yes, I was working yesterday. And, um, but we didn't have a lot going on yesterday because I think a lot of people were off, but... I didn't take off because there wasn't a lot to do and plus I had to catch up on a lot of things so I just took that time to do what I need to do at work while other people were off I love that and then I just got this 1979 um, shirt from five below it says feeling fine so basically 1979 feeling fine you guys know I was born in October on Halloween I am a Scorpio so just in case y'all want to know I know some people are gonna ask and then from Ollie's I got three books that looked interesting to me for $3.99 a piece. I told you guys I don't really buy books, but sometimes if they're really inexpensive and it's something that I want to read or I'm like in my uh, physical book era, which I think I'm in my physical book era, y'all know for a minute I was listening just straight to audio books and that's all I was listening to. And I'm kind of tired of listening to audio books and having it in my ear and stuff. So I'm back to reading physical books for a little while so I want to pick up some so this first book is by Sandra Brown it's called Overkill looks like this and um, that's what it looks like I'm not gonna read the synopsis because it's gonna be just way too long but that is what I'm reading um, it's just basically about this guy who was a Super Bowl MVP I guess he plays on a professional football team child and he got divorced from this lady and then he uh i think he met her with her or happened to see her somewhere and then a couple of days later she was on a life support and they were trying to feel like who attacked her and put on life support they figured out who it was and now it's him i think he's seeking some kind of revenge or something it's kind of weird the way it reads i don't know if they made a mistake or whatever but it reads pretty weird but it sounded interesting i love a good mystery and it's pretty thick it's like 400 and some pages so this should keep me entertained I think I've read a couple of her books before but I'm not really sure but that sounds interesting and then you guys I got Lainey Moriarty um, book called Truly Madly Guilty now this reads so good it's based about these six these three families that go on a uh, holiday with so it's six adults and three kids and one dog it's just a normal weekend what could possibly go wrong but I think at the end of the day somebody ended up getting murdered or dead or something uh, I 
well it doesn't say what went wrong but something went wrong on the little trip and so this is it this is going to be interesting um this is like 500 pages so this is a thick one um my favorite book by her i haven't read nothing by her in a long long time but my favorite book that she ever written so far that i have read is the husband's secret now that book took me out that was like one of my favorite books by her five stars if you have not read the husband's secret secret pick it up but i'm going to read this out and check it out it sounded interesting and then the next book i got is by lisa jackson we've read a couple of her books i think at least two of her books in our book club and they're pretty good so i got the girl who survived and it's basically about this girl um who survived something and became an orphan at the age of seven after somebody killed her whole family and i want to say the person who killed her family was her brother if i'm not mistaken yeah it was her brother um and something goes down after he's convicted he gets released from jail and so then her sister gets in touch with her about some stuff and so it goes back to her probably um probably uh realizing what happened then i don't know if she blocked it out or whatever but she was seven at the time it happened of course they're all adults now brother's a psychopath get out of jail unexpectedly and now some shit about to go down basically so i wanted to read that and then what i'm currently starting to read is I'm going to start reading this today. It, it starts with us. I just finished It Ends With Us. Oh my God, y'all. It was such a good book. I did not expect it to end that way. I love, love, love the way that book ended. It was so surreal. It's just like, that, and that's like the kind of decisions that people have to make all the time come with people who are abusive or drug addicts or whatever the case may be or just toxic in some kind of way having the strength to get away from people like that and have a better life for your children and making those hard decisions so so good i didn't think she was going to end it like that but i am so proud of her from ending that book like that because that is not what i expected her to do and I truly appreciate it. 5 out of 10 out of 10, 20 out of 20. I recommend it ends with us. So now we're moving on to it starts with us. Hopefully this won't break my heart like the other one did. Because I felt her pain. I've never been in an abusive relationship. Um, but I have been in like a... It's not that... I guess you would call it toxic. But I guess toxic. I guess it was toxic. Now that I think about hindsight 2020. I kind of understand her feelings... Um, when it comes to making those hard decisions and having to make those decisions and just being the toughest decision you have to make but this one sounds interesting i hope everything goes well for her but it sounds like it ain't gonna go well in this one so we're gonna see hopefully it's a good ending i'm not sure but that's what i'm reading next and so then me and alicia went out to sephora so tuesday i was feeling really really down because <laughs> Jayla was at school and i was all alone and i i was um she asked me how i was doing the day before and I was kind of sad or whatever, so I just went my ass to bed. Uh, I told you guys, when I feel some type of way, I'm sad or angry or whatever the case may be, I just go to sleep. Like, sleep is my best friend when I'm feeling that way, especially if I don't have anything to take my mind off or um, anything to keep me busy or whatever. I just go to bed. Rest is my friend. Um, so the next morning, I had text her and was like, yeah, I said, I'm not really doing good. I like, do you want to go out? Can I come over? after work or whatever if you're not busy blah 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 she's like cool yeah we're gonna get out and get some drinks or whatever so we went up getting sushi and getting drinks and then we ended up going to i think ulta sephora and to nordstrom rack but the only place i got stuff out of was sephora i think i got some out of ulta just because uh, alicia bought it for me if i'm not mistaken um so yeah but anyway let me show you guys what i got so i think this came from nordstrom rack it is a perfume called Macaron Rose by Lamont Gourmand, the number two. If it's going to focus on it, will you focus, please? Place. Please focus. Place, focus, place. All right, there we go. So that's what it looks like. And it is a vegan, cruelty-free. I was trying to see if it told me what the notes were in it. But it has rose in there, so 
it smells really really good i like it um so that, i think that one's from nordstrom rack if i'm not mistaken and then the floor missing person perfume i can't remember is this one mine or hers i feel like she gave me the wrong one I feel like this is not what I'm supposed to have. I feel like this one's hers. I think she gave me the wrong one. I don't think this is the one that I was supposed to get. <laughs> I don't remember telling her I liked the missing person, or did I? Who knows with her child? She probably did. Uh, so, I don't know. This one has skin musk, bergamot, nectar, sheer, and jasmine in it. Um, base is sandalwood. Australia oil, blonde wood, and white musk. I like, I love anything with sandalwood and bergamot in it. And, um, is this what she meant to get me? I think she did, but I don't know. If she says she's missing something, she'll let me know. I can't remember which one I was supposed to have, to be honest. Um, so that I got that, and then I got another scent, a Glossier U. And this is the one that she said is a fresh scent that she wears after going to the gym and I just love fresh scents anyway so I liked it so I picked it up as well it smells really really good um, and I'll just try to link everything below that I'm talking about hopefully I don't forget and then the one thing I did go in there to get was the Patrick Star primer y'all know the secure the sweat primer was not in there last time I was trying to get it and so they had it this time because y'all know i'm trying to do the sweat proof i sweat all on my nose mostly in the summertime it's super horrific and then i got a mini op open um on till dawn to keep in my car i'm gonna eventually i told alicia i needed to redo my car little thing that i have that has all like you know extra feminine products uh toothbrush toothpaste uh deodorant i just need to redo that because i've used everything up and then some things are just super old i can't use anything so i need to get that and then i got the one size deep powder because i told her that the translucent one was making me ashy but she told me that wasn't the one i was supposed to be using because <laughs> i don't follow directions very well so that part so we got that one and then I got another, is this another perfume? Damn, I got a lot of perfume. Oh, no, this is an eye brightener. Positive light under the eye brightener by Rare Beauty in the color Deep. Um, so you guys know I have, I don't really have bags, but I do have bags. But I have a lot of creasing under my eye when I use concealer. And she told me because I wasn't using eye concealer. I was like, well, damn. I didn't know it was such a thing. I thought concealer was concealer. So she was like, the concealer I was using on my face, I wasn't supposed to be using under my eye. So we got some under eye concealer. I'm, I'm 40, finna be 45, y'all. I'm just not learning about makeup. I like a fresh face that doesn't look like, you know, you'll never, if you, you, you'll never look like you don't have on makeup. I feel like if you know what makeup looks like, you could never fool anybody to saying you don't have on makeup. But I think there's a way to wear makeup where it's super natural where it's not as noticeable and you know it's like effortless and that's the kind of makeup i'm trying to wear um and then the next thing i got was this liquid touch brightening concealer in 500 neutral also by rare beauty because she told me i need to stop using my la pro girl <laughs> beautiful bronze i was like but it matched my skin tone so good but she's like girl that's not a good concealer that's why you be having problems so we're gonna try these out I don't know when. I'll make sure I do like a maybe this weekend I'll get ready with y'all in a video. Maybe just trying out the products and see if I can get it. Oh, I know for the book club. Maybe we'll do a get ready with me for the book club and, and discuss some things um, this week, this uh, upcoming Sunday because book club is this week. So maybe I'll do it then and try all the new things, child. But that is what I picked up at Sephora that cost me $9,000 lately. Y'all already know. You go in there, you spend it $200. These little products are so little. Why is this shit $200? But <laughs> that's what I got on that. So that's what I'm doing. I am actually so hungry. I did not eat breakfast because we was up and ready to go this morning. So I'm actually about to make me a salad um, for lunch. My salad from Publix went bad because I left it in there too long and didn't eat it. And it's now it's, it's sour, so I can't eat that. So I do have actual lettuce. And I have tomatoes, and I have cucumbers, and I have banana peppers, and I have um, some um, chicken strips. So I'm just going to make me a, a grilled chicken salad 
right quick so let's go in there and do that and yeah i need to check up on some work stuff right quick to make sure i'm ready for uh change control this evening but other than that i haven't been doing that much this day just working that's it so i wanted to catch you guys up on all the things and so now let's go make lunch I know it's a really big salad. I can't eat salads all the time. They kind of mess with my stomach a little bit, but I'm definitely crazy with salad. And I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so it's mostly lettuce, as you guys saw. But I decided to bring my work laptop out here. We're going to work from the deck for the rest of the day. I got my two fans going, and they're circulating the air, so it's not as cool. Yesterday was perfect. Like the weather, it was gloomy all day, so it didn't get too hot. And these fans just really made it so much bearable outside. That reminded me, I told Alicia I would get her a fan, so we may have to run out later. I com totally, completely forgot that she asked me to get her one. Um, so, they had plenty when I went to Ollie's the other day, so hopefully they still have some. If not, I'm so sorry, girl. <laughs> Plus, I have to go to the post office. I need to get some ice. Uh, and I just need to get out of the house. I have not left the house since Tuesday. Today is Thursday. I have not left the house since then. So, I need to be trying to get my life together. Um, with that. Uh, and I gotta figure out how does this work. Um, okay, that's cute. So, our newsletter just went out for the upgrade. Trying to see how I do the rest of this stuff. Not sure. But let me eat. I'll get lost in work and want to eat. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, why is it for me that like the cheapest salad dress would be better than the so called name brand salad bread? This little off-brand Italian dressing from Aldi's is so bomb. It's one of my favorites. Oh, so good. Like, y'all know I tried that one from um, Publix. When they had buy one, get one, I hated it. I did not like the flavor. It was not good to me. And I ended up wasting it because I didn't want it. So, I'm going to stick to my little off-brand favorite right here. <laughs> But yeah. So 
I know somebody gonna ask. So my salad I put iceberg lettuce, purple onions or red onion, cucumbers, tomato, banana pepper, grilled chicken, and Italian dressing. And if I had some craisins, I would put them in there. No, is it crazy? Yeah, crazy. I would put those in there too. Love those in my salad. I'm not really a big crouton girl. I mean, I like bacon bits, but if I got chicken, why I need bacon bits? I don't know. I'm thinking what else. I've never been a big egg in my salad girl either. I'm really basic. It comes to a lot of stuff as you guys see. I'm gonna finish my salad. It's so good, or either I'm super hungry. I think it's both. <laughs> I'm gonna drink our water. So I'll check in with you guys later. Brighten up my day today, you guys. Yee, look at that cute little face. That my, that count got hacked again, y'all. We so over uh, these banks right here. We gonna have to do something about these folks. She might have to get a whole new bank account in another bank. We, this our last time fooling around these people. Then she getting a new one because ain't nobody got time for it at all. But anyway, so I'll be back, y'all. I'm gonna talk to Jaylee. Alright you guys, I'm back and I'm about to head out. It is 6.09. I was waiting for uh, rush hour to slow down a little bit before I headed out to pick up a couple things for tomorrow. I'll tell you guys what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, when we get in the car, we'll just have a little chat on the way to run some errands. So I have on these earrings and this necklace are from a Living Fears Collection. Um, watches Amazon bracelets amarose.com i know y'all get tired of me tell you that but that's literally the places okay and then this black and white tank is from h&m my um uh, linen drawstring wide leg pants are from target and my shoes are the adidas lv court i like the courts better than the sambas i feel like these are a little bit more elevated when it comes to the height and they're not so flat to the ground. You guys know I have flat feet so I can't really wear really flat shoes. They have to have some kind of support or elevation. And these just fit better and the price was better because I was able to fit a kid size even better. And then I have on my crossbody bag from Uniqlo, favorite bag. And so we're just gonna head out and run some errands. I need to go to Ollie's, I need to go to Walmart, unfortunately. And then I think that's the only two places I'll go. But, you know, we can always find an excuse to go somewhere when we go out. We might even start by the, stop by the Starbucks. I don't know. May not want to spend Starbucks money, but we'll see. Uh, so let's go. I will see you guys in the car. All right, guys. We're in the car. Oh, and the other place I forgot to go is to... I have to go to the post office to pick up this package for a collab. But I won't be able to do it until Jalen gets back home. Which will be... Uh, ooh, I don't know. She's coming home, I think, next weekend. And she's coming home for the 4th of July, so one of those times. Um, so will she? I have to read my deliverables to see when they want it done after I receive it. So, that part. But we are currently, like I said, headed out to pick up a couple of things. So, basically... My friend Erica is coming over tomorrow. We're going to have a little girls night at the house. So I wanted to do a little entertaining on the day. Um, and so we're just, I'm thinking about doing like a little taco bar with a charcuterie board. Not one that I'm going to make myself. I'm just going to go to Walmart and pick up the little, you know, the little packet with the cheese and the meat already in it. And I already have wine and... Um, uh, what else? I think I already have wine. I have everything for the tacos except a couple of things. And uh, we're just going to play music and chill out and talk like we always do. We always have such a good time. We get together no matter where we're going. We can shoot the shit anywhere and just have a really good time. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what else we might do or 
be or have. I feel like we're just going to chill at the house, clearly, on the deck and just have a really good time, have the fans going or whatever and do that. Why do you, where is your mammy at, child? You was too young to be out in the middle of the street without your parents. What's wrong with these people? I mean, you don't care about that girl running up the street? Ain't no sidewalks out here. We live in the country. Lord have mercy. They lucky I drive like I have good sense because I've seen people come through here flying. Okay, all up above the speed limit. Ridiculous. For sure. So, my God. They need to do better. They haven't done this road yet. I wonder when they're going to do this road. They're redoing our roads so they kind of rough and raggedy right now. Uh, but they put a line in the middle already. So, maybe it's going to be a minute is why they put a line. Random thoughts. I apologize. I told y'all I do random thoughts. But anyway, so tomorrow she's coming over just to, you know, it's a Friday night. You know, Jalen's not home. My son goes to work. I think I enjoy my time alone, but I'm still getting used to Jalen not being at home. I'm used to her being at work and I'll see her the next day or I'll see her in a couple hours. But it's just like I won't see her for days, sometimes weeks. And I just, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like it, shit. Just to be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> and I know a lot of people say, well, when your son was gone, this, that, and the other. It's different. They're two different children, and they need two different things, and they have two different attachments to me. So, Jayla's very over-loving, affectionate, around me all the time. So, when she's gone, I miss her, miss her. Like, probably ridiculously miss her. And my son is just completely different. It's not any difference in the love. It's just they require different things and when they require different things it makes me act a certain way or different ways towards them or if they're gone or missing or whatever i'm pretty sure when my son moves out even though he's in his room and he don't never come out and don't hardly ever talk to nobody i'm still going to miss that being able to knock on his door and say hey dinner's ready hey we finna watch a movie hey we finna do that and so when he went to college I still had Jalen and she would, would keep me entertained and she would keep my mind off it. Mari's not going to keep my mind off it. He's going to be in his room doing his thing and I'm going to be out, outside in my room on the deck looking stupid. That part. So he, He's not going to distract me from the fact that his sister is going off to college and left us. Jalen distracted me from the fact that her brother left, went to college and left us for a little while. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like the difference in it. But let me go pick up this package right quick and I'll be right back. Anywho, so that's what we're doing. So let's go to Ollie's first and then we'll go to Walmart and then we'll come home and chill out and do some little reading. I do need to do a little cleaning today, but I'll probably do most of it tomorrow to be honest. Um or whatnot. So tomorrow morning we're gonna get up, hit the ground running or whatnot or whatnot or whatnot so i will check in with you guys in a little bit you say you don't want to get in trouble that you don't find because you got me i don't want to break your little bubble but you gotta wake up to reality because i can see Seven fifty-two, and I'm out 
of Walmart. And we got everything we need for tomorrow. I bought like, um, what did I buy? I bought a tablecloth and I got like some serving stuff that I've been needing out of Walmart. Ollie's didn't really have much, but the cutting boards, as you guys saw, they had a couple of cutting boards um, that I'm going to lay out the charcuterie board stuff. I didn't make it myself. I bought the Walmart one, and we're just going to put it all together. It is what it is. Um, and then I got a couple like individual ones. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make smaller charcuterie boards. So I'm going to use the serving. I'm not going to use that big one that I bought. I'm going to use a small one, so I can, I'm going to do like sort of like a hopefully like a place setting where she has a side and I have a side and then we can um, each have our own little board already set out and I have all the taco stuff out hopefully <laughs> that fire table is big enough to serve out on I'm praying that it is if not I may have to like uh, use a side table or something I really wish I had like a a table I could set up and take down that was kind of small but not so big and I could like move the fire table out of the way and then like set that up in that area for us to use but I don't have anything like that um, I'm looking for something like that so maybe we'll get it one day but I don't have today so luckily it's just two of us tomorrow so we can improvise um, on that um, I got a couple of things that I needed for the book club. I needed like some lemon juice and some Prosecco for this like special drink that we're going to be making. Um, and then what else? I got the charcuterie board. I got shrimp and I got ground turkey because I didn't, I couldn't remember whether or not she liked shrimp tacos or not. They remodeling this freaking Chick-fil-A again? Dang. I know Chick-fil-A is sick of these folks. Or is they tearing up the child? I know they mad that chick fil closed. I think they closed, y'all. They probably gonna lose some money if they don't hurry up and get it together. But anyway, I digress. I told y'all I'd be all in other people's business. Um, did the water bowl close down too? Like, I'm so nosy. <laughs> I'm over here. I don't come over here a lot, so I'm just noticing a lot of things. Is the Whataburger closed, too? I don't like Whataburger. Do y'all like Whataburger? I swear they trashy, nasty. I went there one time and will never, ever, 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 ever go again. So, that part. Yeah, they're closed down. I'm not surprised. Um, What else did I get with my scatterbrain? I got me, like, a pizza to eat tonight. I got some of my favorite sherbet ice cream um as well and then i got i'll just show y'all when i get home i can't remember everything i got i got a lot of stuff <laughs> i'm gonna leave that fan in my car because i'm gonna see alicia saturday either saturday or sunday i know i'm definitely gonna see her on sunday for book club but i might see her saturday as well so i'm gonna leave that fan in there in the car because it's for her and then i'll just bring everything else in and show you guys what i got and then what I'll probably do is while I am, the pizza is cooking before I settle in for the night, I'm going to go ahead and like wash the dishes and clean up the kitchen. Um, I think that's the only thing and like break down some boxes that I have in the house from like all the stuff from, I ordered some stuff for book club, you know, then Jalen got some stuff in before she went, um, to school and then I got a couple of PR packages that came in boxes that I need to break down well not PR but like uh, collab packages and then what else I need to sweep but I'm not gonna sweep tonight y'all gonna find out what I'm gonna do tomorrow I got something exciting in that I needed an upgrade on I have an older version of it so I'm excited to have a newer one so I'll show you guys what that is tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog so just stay tuned for that it's another uh, collab vlog so I'm super excited for that uh, I definitely need another one I jumped on it when they reached out to me I was like hell yeah send me one appreciate you and it's an upgrade so we're gonna see how it's gonna work um, I'm not gonna get rid of the other one just yet I'll probably store it somewhere just in case but yeah I'm excited for tomorrow's uh, video um, what else did I get I think that's it I need to work of course on editing tomorrow's video but we'll do that tomorrow I'm not gonna do that tonight to be honest 
I still I'm getting back I'm getting behind again I'm getting back into my editing on the same day type bullshit <laughs> so I need to get that together but anyway we're gonna head home I'll show you what I get what I got when we get to the house okay all right oh you missed the light loser loser Alright guys, I'm back home. Oh lord, I'm trying to post y'all on my air fryer. I'm about to scare myself to death. Let's do this. Alright, how's that? Yep, that's better. Alright. So I'm back, so I'm going to give you guys a little haul right quick. So, I got me a pepperoni pizza for dinner. I went ahead and got peeled devein tail off small shrimp for the tacos tomorrow but i also got some ground turkey as well i'll probably end up only cooking half of the ground turkey and freezing the west the rest since there's only two of us and cooking a little bit of the shrimp um i went ahead and got the charcuterie board i kind of got a big one and i probably didn't need this big one if it's only two of us it says this serves um is it 2.5 people? Oh, that's weird. I don't know why it says two people. This ain't no two people serving, child. Is it? Each person gets 16 slices. I guess it depends on how many slices in there. Anyway, I got that. So I got the honey ham and turkey. Uh, Cause y'all know I don't do like, I think the other one had like pork or something in it. Y'all know I love my Stacy chips. So I got the Parmesan garlic and the cinnamon sugar the cinnamon sugar is like my sweet thing and then i also got some tortilla scoops for salsa um or whatnot but you can also make like cheesy uh little meals with it in the scoop so that's interesting never tried that before might try that one day Maybe put some ground turkey in them. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, don't it? Get some of my vegan cheese. Might be a vibe. Um, and then I got three bottles of Prosecco. And that is for Sunday for the book club. So I'm actually going to put them in there because they need to be chilled for Sunday. And then I got in this um, bag from Walmart, I got... I got the flour tortillas for making the tacos. I got the chunky salsa in medium. I got also some queso in medium. I think she likes queso if I'm not mistaken. I got a little thing of sour cream for the tacos. Um, for Sunday's book club, I needed lemon juice. So I went ahead and got this concentrated lemon juice to make it easier on myself. Instead of having squeezing lemons. And then I got my favorite Talanti Dairy Free Sherbet in the Roman Raspberry. I love it. So good. It's expensive, so I don't get it all the time. It's freaking $6. So that part, that's what I got there. And then what else I got? All this stuff is from Walmart. I got a chip and dip bowl set with a tray so it's super cute so they actually have this big old bowl for the chips and then the the dip bowl i need some more serving stuff especially if i'm gonna have like girlfriends over while Jayla has dissed me <laughs> to go to school and to have more people over so i need more like serving stuff i don't have a lot of serving stuff um and then i got this lazy susan set it includes one Lazy Susan, four removable trays to hold small appetizers and condiments. And so I liked it because they had the taco shells and then they had all the taco stuff. And that's really what I'm creating a taco thing tomorrow. So that will hold all of that. And I love that you can use the tray by itself without the dishes on it. And they're big enough to hold all of our condiments. So I got that from Walmart. And then, you know, we went to Aldi. And then Aldi, I ended up getting this tablecloth to put over the fire table for us to use. We just use the plates that I have in here. We ain't buying no plates. Then I needed some um, chip bag clips because I didn't have any. So these were $2.99 different sizes. So I got that for the house. And then I got two of these 
bamboo cutting boards with serving. So I think you could cut on them or you can serve on them. And this is what I was talking about that I would clean these off and then I would take those charcuterie pieces out of this tray and I would make each one of us our own little personalized board with this to go along with the tacos. So I got two of those. So you guys can see. And y'all know I wanted them anyway from when I went to the cabin trip and I made that steak and I had served everything on those cutting boards instead of a plate. I know I ain't done it in a while, but that was a vibe. And then I just got a really big cutting board like this. So if I ever do a really big party, then we can have a big charcuterie board. So got that. And then I ended up getting one of these faux bags. I know you guys seen these bags before, but the real ones are super, super expensive. I don't remember what they're called. I, I'll probably look it up before um, I do this and I will post it down below. They had like a light blue, this navy blue. They had a pink. And so I was going to get the light blue, but I was like, oh, uh, you really going to like the light blue? So I decided just to get the navy blue one. And it was $34.99. Um, it's a beach bag. So we are going to the beach next month. So this will be perfect for me and Jalen to share. Put towels in here and any sunscreen and anything else we need. It's super big um, compared to me. It's really, really big. So you can fit a lot in here. And I love that it is going to be waterproof and all that kind of stuff. And I know that you can buy like the little accessories that go with it I, I think the accessories for the real bag will work for this version of the bag i hope if not oh well and then it also came with one little pocket insert already so this is an insert that you can use that has a zipper and you can put stuff in here but it's detachable if you unscrew the little thing and is over here so i did pick up one of those so that is everything i got y'all so i'm about to read the back of this thing and um uh get my oven over here preheated to warm this up so it says at 425 so we're gonna get this preheated at 425 that going and then I'm just gonna put all of this stuff up everything that needs to go in the refrigerator everything that needs to just put be put away normally or whatever and then we'll be back in a minute guys so the kitchen is all clean and y'all saw my pizzas ready look so good my god uh i was gonna be good and drink some water fuck that we need some wine tonight okay we'll drink water a little bit later okay we'll drink some water later 
We finna get out our little wine glass. And we finna get our drink on. Okay. That part. So let's get out our little wine glass. I need to get some more to like the stuff rubbing off of these. Uh, the words and stuff. I need to revamp my wine glasses. Wash them and clean them up or whatever. So let me rinse this one out. It used to say like Merlot, Vino, um, Cabernet. But all of the stuff has rubbed off, but it still works. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, the pizza cutter don't disappear. So, this little, this little board works. It's perfect for my pizza. I probably just maybe cut it with a knife and then wash it back out right quick. Because I'm not trying to make dirty dishes. <laughs> But clearly, I'm still gonna make dirty dishes. So let's just see if I can cut my pizza real quick without making too much of a mess. Um, even if I just do it in little slices here, should be good. I'm gonna wipe off the counter again. Guess I should have did this first. Don't you hate that when you clean up the kitchen and then you forget about something and you're like, dang it. Now I got to do it again. I got to wash it again. Do whatever. I cooked this in the toaster oven, but the top got done real fast, but the bottom isn't that crispy. It's more like it's not toasted enough for me, but I would burn my pizza. And I can't figure out how to get just the bottom to turn on and not the top. So it can cook the bottom and not the top if y'all know because it's not broil of course so i'm trying to figure that out but i don't know how to do it so if y'all know tell me all right that should be good enough nice and cut up we'll wash that when we come back in because we'll have to wash the cutting board anyway so let's just clean this back off Right. And go ahead and get my favorite wine, my Adesso. It's my favorite. Um, and then I have one more. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there in case <laughs> I drink this one all tonight. Uh, me and my girlfriend will have something tomorrow. I think she's got to bring some wine too, but I'm not sure. Um, cause she was asking me what kind I like, but I really just want to tell her she just need to bring herself. I don't need her to bring anything. We're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, oh, there we go. glass of wine with dinner tonight. Not too much, not too much. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this little thing on here. All right, I will meet you guys out on the deck. So I will be the right. That's what my friends are telling me. I wish it was easy, but it's not easy. Oh, I need to get it off my mind. Hey, before it devours all my energy.
great, y'all. It feels so good out here. I probably won't leave these big lights on. Um, I don't have a lot of bugs out here because the, the enclosure actually does help with that. But sometimes, you know, when you have the lights on, it really, really attracts them. Sometimes I like to just have my little lamp on, but it isn't plugged up. So, <laughs> yeah, but I am still on It Starts With Us. I'm not that far in. I'm only on Chapter 9 and on page 59. So, I'm going to do a little bit of reading and eating right quick. And then when I get finished eating, I'll probably chill out and read and sip on my wine for a little bit until it's gone. Mm, it's really good. I got this from Walmart. It's my first time getting their flatbread pizza. It's actually really, really good. Well, the fans work so good out here, y'all. Especially when it gets nighttime. But you have to watch out for that nighttime air. You never remember how your grandma used to say, don't take your babies outside after a certain hour because that nighttime air will get you sick. <laughs> I remember that. Do you guys get that? And they're like, oh, they shouldn't go out after a certain time. That night air, they're going to get sick. And this and that and the other is so funny. But they're actually right because that night, no matter how hot it is, where you are, that night air with a fan really cools off. I remember we used to stay in a house that didn't have air conditioning. I don't think we had air conditioning. I think we didn't. Because I remember I used to always have one of those window fans. And at night I would turn it on to cool down my, my room. And my rooms get like really cold with just that fan in the window. Crazy, right? So, y'all watch out for that nighttime air. <laughs> Oh y'all, this is so good. I ain't had no wine in so long. Mm. It's so so good. Well, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna finish watching Alicia's vlog first. It's freaking. It's an hour and ten minutes, so I got a minute to go. And I probably finish eating my pizza by then, so that's good. So I can just control. Um, Pay attention to reading on my book tonight because the fans make my book not stay open when I try to hold it open. The fan blows the pages, so I can just hold it when I'm finished eating. So I'm just gonna finish watching her vlog and then finish eating my pizza and then we'll wind down. It's actually way past my bedtime, y'all. It's 9:28. Are y'all proud of me for not being in the bed? Like I'm proud of myself for not being in the bed. I feel like it's because I went out a little bit later. I didn't leave the house about seven o'clock. Was it six? Maybe six something. Just for the traffic to die down. And then I didn't get home till like seven. And we washed the dishes and we cleaned up. So I feel like a real grown up y'all. Staying past my bedtime at 830. I'm an hour past my bedtime. Look at me. Look at me trying to be a, a rebel or whatnot. <laughs> I am weak. Um, so yeah. So that's what's going on. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. <laughs> my phone died what kind of bullshit is this that's when you happens when you ignore the low battery sign the phone died <laughs> so I'm going to go get my iPad and my charger for my phone because y'all know I cannot have my phone dead I'd be mad when Jada phone be dead. Definitely need me. She gonna be mad if mine is dead. So she like, I told you so. So I'm finna go get my iPad so I can finish watching the vlog. And then we're gonna get a charger for this phone. I'll be back.
Okay. That water was good, y'all. Nice and cold. All right, you guys. It is super late. Like, way past my bedtime. I did fall asleep outside, though. So, it is currently... Oh, this new phone case is a mess. It's currently 11.40. So, I probably fell asleep last about 10 30 or something so i wasn't sleep for too long maybe about an hour uh but i woke up put everything up wash my little dishes y'all just saw me put on my pajamas do my skincare routine for the night and now we are in the bed so that is the end of today's daily vlog i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today if you did give it a thumbs up Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.